This study could not have come out at a better time for me because it seems like more and more clients are calling and asking for antibiotics in lieu of an examination or another treatment. One of them was a client who suspected that their cat had a UTI. Spoiler alert, it was FLUTD. And another had received metronidazole for her dog's diarrhea in the past and wanted to get some more because the dog was having diarrhea again. In both cases, the owners ended up understanding why we were unable to simply fill a prescription for antibiotics. But it did show that we as veterinarians have some work to do to help educate these clients and remain good antimicrobial stewards. At the end of this study, there's an excellent tool that can help you meet these goals. Scroll to the bottom and open the references section. And there under suggested reading is a link to a client handout titled, Your Pet Does Not Need an Antibiotic Today, which explains what is going on with the pet, why an antibiotic was not given, and what to do if the pet does not feel better with non-antibiotic prescribed treatment in a certain number of days. You can print this and quickly customize it for your next sneezing kitten or coughing dog who isn't suffering from a bacterial infection.